We've been looking at atoms so far in this lesson, but we need to look at the periodic table, get some basics, and then we'll be ready to look at some compounds. So some basics about the periodic table. The horizontal rows, in other words, going across like this, even up here where it doesn't continue, those are called periods. The vertical columns, moving up and down, this is called a group. So the vertical columns are groups. Next, we have some main sections. This, these first two columns, and this block here, together, those are called the main group elements. You'll see that there are some trends off the periodic table that work very well for those that makes us easy, it makes it easy for us to predict things and so forth. This inside part here, these are called the transition elements. These down here are called the inner transition elements. One thing we'll need to do very often is to determine if an element is a metal or not. So you need to know where they are on the periodic table. Hydrogen and these elements above that stair step, these are the nonmetals. Mostly over here, but we need to remember hydrogen, of course, is a nonmetal. All of the rest of these, including these down here, are all metals. So most elements are metals. Also, technically, truly, truly, some of the elements that are along this stair step here are sometimes called metalloids because they're kind of halfway in between being a metal and being a non-metal as far as their properties go. But for our purposes, we're going to make it either or. Either they're a non-metal or they're a metal. And that will um, give us our rules for naming and writing formulas. Just property differences between a metal and a non-metal. Of course, some of the physical properties you already know, they're shiny, good conductors of heat and electricity. But we ne you need to also know that they tend to give up electrons. They don't hold on to their electrons very tightly. That's why they are good conductors. Nonmetals are the opposite. They like to gain or share electrons. 